Hi hobby friends, let's talk about the death corpse of Krieg again. A keen-eyed commenter noted on my last video that the Krieg units I showed at the end were 5th Siege Regiment and not the Payne's Grey Coloured 143rd Regiment. So let's talk about black today. Painting black is a common issue for people, so let me show you how I do it fairly quickly with these grimdark lads. After you have the models primed, grab some burnt umber ink and load up your airbrush. This may seem like an unintuitive step, but one way to get that black feeling more real is to give it some colour. Like my last Kriegsman, I'm going for a warm shadow look here, so spraying from a low angle up into the nooks and crannies will help add some richness to the minis. And because it's transparent ink, we don't lose that sense of black. Next, I take some Vallejo Sombre Grey, one of my favourite greys, thin it down with airbrush thinner and start very lightly highlighting the minis from above. I also blast any wood on the bases to bring up the general value to make them easier to paint later on. You might feel like you're making things look grey, not black at this stage, but so long as you're being gentle you should be okay. Look at any black object in the real world, really look at it, and you'll see that it's usually only pure black in its deepest shadows. The advice for most colours is to make your mid-tones the actual colour you want the thing to look, and then work up towards white or down towards black for highlights and shadows respectively. With black, you might have to drop that idea a bit, because you'll inevitably end up with poor shading. You have to aim for more of a dark grey in your mids. My next step was to make a mistake. I went in and painted the lenses. I wanted to do the usual work inside out trick, that is to say, start with deeper parts of your model so you can neaten up your edges as you paint the next object out. But I completely underestimated the power of a later step to fill in the details. So don't bother doing the lenses. Skip straight to the khaki masks and wraps, the brown leather and the gun metal. These are all one pass coats. I just don't have time to paint everything two or three times with a horde army like this. Luckily, the sometimes patchy quality can be used to our advantage so long as we make it look deliberate. This was the first big batch of these guys I was doing, so I was still working out some of my processes, and here I decided I wanted still more definition and texture on the coats. So out came the scratch brush with some more grey paint, and on went the dry, scratchy brushing. For other batches, I did this before painting the details, straight after the grey airbrushing stage. Here is the big one, how we transform the still slightly flat looking Krieg into a real grim dark but properly defined mini. It's oils. If you have any reservations about oil paints, I strongly recommend you get over them. Oils act like magic for washes, weathering, pin lining, blending. Really, they are better than acrylics in so, so many ways. I still love acrylics, 90% of the work here is acrylic paint, but oils simply do things that acrylic paints can't, and they do it fast. You can see here, I'm slathering on a coat of thinned down burnt umber. You just need to add white spirits or mineral spirits or some kind of oil thinner to get the consistency you see here and coat your guys head to foot. This is on the thicker side of oil washes, by the way. By the time you've gotten through the squad, you can start the cleaning process. For this, you'll need a bunch of cotton buds or Q-tips, maybe makeup sponges for bigger models. Simply brush off the paint from the upper surfaces and try to leave it in the shadows and recesses. Because oils take longer to dry than acrylics and can be reactivated for quite some time with mineral spirits, you don't need to worry about getting something wrong. You can keep fixing things almost indefinitely by adding and taking away paint. Make that the last bit of your painting session for the day and leave those chaps to cure overnight and the very last stage, the next day, will be to go in with some more reds for the lenses and some really fast highlights on the masks to make them really pop. Notice how the interaction of the warm oil wash and the cool grey highlight really sells the contrast for us, and I think reinforces the blackness of the overall scheme. I could have done a black oil wash, but by doing dark brown we got more than just definition, we got colour contrast and environmental information. When the basing is all done, you should have something that looks like this. 
I'm trying to keep these videos short and to the point, but if you want any more details on any of the processes, let me know down below. And as always, if you want to see more of my stuff or commission anything, take a look at my Instagram linked in the description. See you next time.